chat. Back at it. To finish up uh, some of these sub stories I got going on. And then I'm going to be doing uh, the taxi missions. can uh, make money. Because uh, money's always good. Money, uh, money, money makes the world go around and it makes me happy. Fucking Yonkeys. Piss off. you. I'll talk to you when I can, like, actually fucking race. And don't have a taxi that sucks. Shit. 
Hello. What's up, man? I'm I'm here. What are you doing now? Uh, coming along for a ride to Mystery Man. I'm taking all you asses hostages. Uh, I'm just finishing up some sub stories before I do the taxi missions. these people. Maybe I need to give you a taste of it firsthand. Oh, sure. Fuck with Kazuma Kiryu. That's a great idea. See, okay. I'm glad you say that because I started playing. I was playing Gaiden last night, but I had to unfortunately interrupt my session. But, um, so I'm going up against these group of guys that straight up know that I'm Kazuma Kiryu, right? Mm -hmm. They know this is like after five, after six, they know that this is a man who for like, how long has it been since you started fighting? Like, it started with Yakuza Zero, right? And since the 80s, has been running into buildings and beating every single person up in there, right? Single-handed. And these douchebags have the nerve to look at me and say, nah, you ain't shit. And at this point, I can't help but think, are you guys for real? At that point, I think it's just natural selection. It has to be. Who's that dumb? <laughs> Literally, who is that dumb? Like, th there's a difference between, like, somebody, like, knowingly facing it off against Kiryu, and it's, like, on Kiryu's level, and knows, like, you know, I might have a chance of beating his ass, but I also know he might beat my ass, and that's whatever. And then there's straight up, like, <laughs> knowing who this man is, knowing what he's capable of, knowing what he's done, and unironically saying, nah, you ain't shit. I'll be right back. And this was, and this was before the cancer. <laughs> Yeah, and even with cancer, he's still eating the living fuck out of people. Someone who gave Ichiban trouble, who by the way is no slouch himself, uh -huh. could not defeat Kiryu with cancer. You seriously think giving back the money and the kid makes up for what you did? Well, you can't just do whatever you want using your problems as an excuse, but I'm sure you have plenty of time to think about the part. What a fucking dumbass! Hey, I gave back your kid that I kidnapped! What? You're not gonna let us go? Of course not. <laughs> Royal ass back there, sir. <laughs> You know, I I wonder. I think it's I I I I wonder if um, because Haru is, has Haruka's 
um, fit, right? It, mm-hmm. Is is Har is Haru's Japanese VA the one who originally did Haruka's VA work? No, no. Okay. No, they're different. The English VAs are di- the English VAs are the same, but the Japanese ones are completely different. Okay. I, I know because I've heard Haru's voice and um, Haruka's voice by. Uh, fuck. I just got in there. Fucking name. Hold up. Yeah, okay. Haruka's voiced by Rai Kumagami. Rai Kumagami, okay. That's and her, Haru... That's her Jap- Japanese, Japanese VA. Name. Okay. Yeah. Haru in the Japanese one is voiced by... <laughs> um, Haruka Tok- Tokamatsu. <laughs> that's kind <laughs> that's of funny. her name? That's funny. Yeah, that's her name. Yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, that's funny. No, I, well, I just wondered if that was well, the reason oh, why. Yeah. No, I do believe that is one of the reasons why they got um her dub VA to voice uh Hanukkah and Infinite Love, which works for Hanukkah, it really does. Yeah, what we were talking about earlier. I don't not a professional singer. like um here use VA is Japanese VA is right. Mm-hmm. But I really do blame the auto tune for why Judgment sucks so much. But in the um dub, he's not bad. He's not great either, but he's decent at singing for someone who I don't believe really sung before then. Fair, but I also think we shouldn't ignore the fact that, like, it's very obvious that, like, he's using audio. No, but here's the thing. He didn't. Like, the, it was the sound director specifically. Like, for the game. Because, like I said, it's for each... It wasn't in Gaiden, and it wasn't in Seven. The autotune did not exist in those two games. This is specifically an Infinite Wolf problem. Because they also, because you noticed, because like it wasn't just for um, Cheesery, the girl who was singing Hollow Noodle Lights, and Kiryu and Ichiban. Kaji Kang can't sing worth at all, which I think actually fits Ichiban's character better that he can't sing, you know? Yeah, I, I get but, that. But Pelts do in the dub of Seven had no auto tune at all. But an infinite wolf, all of a sudden, it has, it has auto tune. But it's the exact same song files from the old game. They also added it to Robbie Damon singing of um, the only one I ever loved. Right? It's less bad with him because he's singing really good. Right? But with um, another character who I can't say the name of because it's a huge spoiler for both for Six and Like a Dragon. Right? His song is also heavily auto-tuned, and you can tell it actively ruins the song. I, I can't only blame Yon for, like, the songs not sounding as good. This is clearly a sound designer problem. That's fair. But yeah, I feel like Yong would have been... It's like, there are a million other characters in because I think Yong would have fit better. And I'm going to name them right now. Tani Mora is one. He would have been a good Mine in three. Dude, he would have been a really good Mine. And if you want to go even further, he probably would have been a good Niski. I could see him being Nishiki. Yeah, a good Mine, a good Nishiki. I could see him fitting in Tani Mora. There's a lot of other characters that would have been a better fit for him. I, I do I do think I I have to agree that he was definitely miscast for Kizu. He just doesn't fit. His his tone he does the vocal tones pretty what good. The problem is he doesn't have a natural bassy voice. Right, 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 right. He doesn't have a naturally deep voice. 
And a lot of people say that he's flat, but the thing is, that's just Kiryu in general. Yeah, Kiryu's pretty monotone when you think about it. <laughs> it's only when he's getting, like, really pissed off or upset that you hear something other than a monotone. Right. And don't don't get me started on like Akiyama's voice. I heard a piece of it. That was another miscast. I haven't heard it, but I'll take your word for it. I don't, I honestly think it's worse than um, Yong as Kiryu. Really? Yes. I can at least say that Yong, despite not having a deep enough voice, I can hear his Kiryu. And, and be like, eh, it's alright. But with Akiyama, I'm like, oh no, this doesn't sound like him at all. Also, another character, a lot of people say that Yong would have been a good Yakuza Zero Kiryu, which I do agree with. I can see that. I can yeah, see that. Yeah, it's because, it's mostly because Yong is 25 and Kiryu's like 40. Mm -hmm. Well, no, 50 by the point he start voicing, voices him. Yes, hey. What's another character I was thinking of that he could have voiced? I just had it. <laughs> Daigo. Daigo? I could see it. They had Roger Crank Smith, but apparently they replaced him too. With Tim Fautner? Who the heck is that? Yeah, there are like a bunch of other characters you could have voiced. I will say this though. Yong does look good in the Kiryu, the um, usual Kiryu suit. Yeah, Yong's a, Yong's a good looking dude. He is. Also, that's his actual name, by the way. Yong Yi? Yong yeah. Ya? Yeah, I knew Yeah. That. I did, and I thought it was his username all these no, years. No, that's, that's, his, that's his actual name. I think he has a brother, too. I heard he I remember him saying he had a sister. Sister. But nothing about a brother. My only real yeah. beef, like, you know, he, you know, he's a little miscast, it is what it is. My only real beef with Yong is I really did feel like he didn't handle the situation well. He I feel like he had a bit of a meltdown over the criticism, and I think he could have handled it better. That's why it could really have been handled better, but at the same time, it is a dream role like Kiryu. I, I'd be a little pissed off, too. I would be a little pissed off, too. I get where he's coming from. Like, I would understandably be very, like, upset with people, like, you know, being like, yeah. Hey, man, sorry, but just ain't it. It, to doesn't, it doesn't help that WAs get a lot of shit, even for the dumbest shit. Like, Freyan, um, Freyan's WA. Mm -mm. Like, there's a lot of people saying that her voice is too deep for the character. To which I call bullshit on, you know? I... Like, they say that women, that's usually, like... Like, Farron's voice, even in the sub, is pretty deep. The WBA is deeper, but just, they're not that different in pitch, you know what I'm saying? I'd have to hear it, but I, I, I get where you're coming from. And I do think it's... Yeah. I think it's a bit ridiculous that people will, uh... Give WBA shit, and it's like... Dude, they're, they're, they're doing the best they can. It's just people, uh, I one comment I despise the most whenever I see dub work is like I'm gonna throw up English dub, yeah, and I in the back that is get over get first of all get over yourself second of all get a new joke third of all that is so pathetic. It really is. Yeah. I adding uh, on adding on to that they also say that free ring sounds in monotone, which yeah that's your character. Yeah, that's like the point. That's the point. Yeah, even Jacob said that he likes the dub of uh, the dub PA for his friend. Mm-hmm. And they will they will go 
And like I remember on Twitter, if like somebody said they liked Aaron Voice Actor, the first comp, one of the few comps was like, Are you being paid off by her? You know, sometimes people can just enjoy stuff without getting paid being paid off people. Dude, it's fucking it's fucking weeds being weeds, dude. Oh no. But yeah. I there are a lot of uh, but back on the subject of Beyond, I feel like I want him to stand out because serious because he's he's legitimately a good VA. He is. But again, he he was a mess cast. It happens. It happens. He does the best with the role, and for what it's worth, I do think he does pretty well. Uh, I can I can play. But uh, for real, for real, when I get to infinite wealth, if there's any reason I'm playing it in the dub, it's just for Kanji Tang as Ichiban. Con wait, who? Kanji Tang. Oh, you Tang. definitely heard him a few times. Okay. Uh, one form or the other. He he was Hanzo, not Hanzo. He was Bihan in Mortal Kombat 1. Oh, okay, yeah. He voices Ichiban? Yes! That's fucking He's awesome. awesome. Yeah, he's also, um, he used, you ever played the Dynasty Warriors, like, Fist of the Star game? No, I, I like... haven't. Damn. There's more roles. Hold up, hold up, I gotta look them up, because I'm trying to blank, because I know them. He's Owain in, in Fire Emblem, by the way. Oh, interesting. Do I like how... Yakuza 5 uses real picture pictures of food. It yeah. looks so fucking good. He's Gojo and uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. You ever seen Tinka Obasha? No. Damn. Trick copy. Probably spam. Have you seen Berserk 2016? Fuck no. I I know that shit's garbage. He was guts in that, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make a bunch of guts jokes for Owain. No, I I I saw the clips of it, the memes, and I was like I was like, bro, no. what is this? I have no real interest in Berserk, honestly. I do have an interest in it. I want to just read the manga, though. I've just been putting it off for a while. Yeah, I, if I do read it, I'll probably just read the manga. I just read the manga. There's no point in trying to watch. I mean, the only real good anime was an OVA from the 90s, and... Oi, I'm trying to look up other characters that you might have known that he voiced. Did you see the death battle of Roa Noah Zora versus Urza Scarlet? Damn it. Sorry, dude. Well, he voiced Ren's dad. <laughs> Ren from Ruby, I mean, pretty sad. Yeah, that's him. What a waste of content came to be it. Okay. Dude, did you did you hear about uh RT's final stream. Apparently, it was an absolute disaster. Let me, let me look up what. Because Minaris apparently was listening in on it. Let me see what he typed. He said it was it was bad. It was fucking bad. Hang on, let me oh, no. find it. Yeah, here's here's what he said. Okay, for one, for starters, they have Rooster Teeth has nine million subs, right? Mm -hmm. But only 1.7k people tuned in for the stream. So oh already, my God. already off to a rough start with like z pretty much practically nobody giving a shit. But apparently everyone that was on the stream was like drinking, like hardcore getting plastered live. So already 
not a good combination. And then, on stream, one of them doxed a former co-worker who they dislike for being white. Uh, like doxed another co-worker? Yes! They doxed another co-worker, and then the stream was immediately privated afterwards. Like... I think they like, like he said, like they stopped it, privated it, and they are pretending it didn't fucking happen. But it's out there, <laughs> bro. Even on their last stream, they could not just go gracefully. Couldn't, couldn't just fucking, couldn't just fucking let it go, man. One one last RT fucking L. And the fact that they're still trying to hype up Ruby Volume 9 shit on their website is just sad. Who Nobody cares? cares? Who cares? Nobody cares. Well. We had it while we had it. We had it while we had it. Our Rand's already make doing getting new roles. What? How do I say her? Blake's VA's name? I don't know how to say it. Aaron Zek? Fuck her. Who cares what she does? She is an absolute oh. fucking coping cunt. I hope, um, Lindsay at least gets some work somewhere. Yeah. There's maybe, like, a handful of the VAs that, like, I actually like because they're decent people. Wait, he was... Conti Tang was... Tom from Tom and Jerry at some point? Bro, oh, now I need to make a joke about Ichiban <laughs> doing the Tom scream. Doing the Tom scream? That's funny. Or Owain. <laughs> oh, that would honestly be even funnier. Or have like Owain chasing after uh, someone who's like, <laughs> like a fucking mouse. <laughs> I, just... I was gonna say Morgan. Morgan honestly m would be perfect. Okay, okay. You, you, wait, you haven't played Persona 5 yet, have you? No, I am not. I can't use him either. Damn. Do you even play video games? Obviously I do, because I'm playing a video game right now. Yeah, I know, I'm joking. Are you even a gamer? He was Detective Pikachu in the Detective Pikachu video game. <laughs> also, he voiced Vegeta at some point, so yes, that's why I kept asking you questions about... Oh. about Owain attacks using Vegeta attacks, because he was, he, he, was, he was Vegeta for a short period of time, for Dragon Ball Super, you know, before Funimation got the dubbing rights back. Yeah, let's talk to the guy who knows nothing about technology. <laughs> my favorite part. Well, my favorite part is that in the Oculus 6, Kiryu will like tap with his fingers, like his index fingers on a keyboard, and spell out what he's typing as he's typing it. He's such an old fucking man. This sub story became very interesting. It's actually one of my favorites. The attacker must know what you mean. 
Putting in deeper if you can find my own circus it seems to be just Bro, it doesn't matter what the fuck you do. the subject who would you have chosen to if because i think the only reason they replace um daru with young daryl with young is because they probably couldn't afford him um constantly which maybe not because they did get danny trejo and Jer but then again those characters died the next game like the same game they were in i'm sorry but she just she just casually installed antivirus software and the fucking program stopped. That's not how it works! That's how it works in the Yakuza universe. <laughs> That's not how it works! That's how it works in the Yakuza universe. I don't know what to say, buddy. Uh. Don't say something. What? Tachibana! That's another character Yon could have voiced. Damn, that took me too long. Tachibana in Zero. Did you say Young Yi from Tachibana? I could actually see that. Again, he would fit every single other, other character other than Kiryu. He would fit, like, every, like, young mm -hmm. character. Again, it's like, most of the characters I brought up are, like, in their 30s or, like, um, 20s, I'll admit. Yeah. Oh, so I have... This is something I've been sitting on for a while. It's kind of a silly idea. So, basically, in my, my, my fucking little silly little headcanon, right? And I'm sure you've seen, I'm sure you've seen, you've seen, like, in, like, Persona 4, right? Where, like, Rize and, like, Yukiko, they can't handle alcohol, right? They can't handle the atmosphere, much less the alcohol. Yeah, atmosphere, less than the alcohol. Now, have you seen, like, the headcanons where, where, uh, Naoto is also, like, a lightweight. Yeah. So, I have proposed the exact opposite for Fuka, and that Fuka, despite being the same build, it's not that she can't get drunk, it's just that it takes her a really long time. And she has a real... She has a high tolerance. And the thing is, is that Fuka is one of those drunks where it's like, you don't know she's drunk. Like, she'll, like, just be, like, acting like her normal self, whatever, until you, like, you know, go up to have a conversation for her. And then you can tell she's fucked up, like, how from how she's talking. So, on top of that, I have proposed that Fuka is a very mean drunk. I uh, actually kind of like that idea. And she is not above getting physical for anybody who tries to fucking put her hand, put their hands on, um, on her, her, her man, or her friends. Exactly. And she's a mean drunk in the sense that, like, she becomes like deathly calm. And because I, uh, I go with the fact that, like, the Personas are a part of you, right? So, in yeah. theory, you should be able to access, like, their innate abilities. Because of her, because of her Persona being a, 
a scout scouting I mean, base persona, but also it like the thing is canon that you can use it outside of the dark hour. Mitsuru mm-hmm. uses it. Um, Mitsuru uses it, and that's actually a, a basis uh, of um, uh, the one fan fiction I told you about that I reference a lot. Uh, they call it channeling in that. Um, basically, with Juno. She should, in theory, be immune from, like, any kind of physical damage. So, I like to imagine that she purposely antagonizes a girl trying to get, put the moves on her mans, gets hit, just fucking tanks the hit like a champ, and then fucking takes, like, a beer glass or whatever and just smashes it on their face. And you remember that starts... scene in, in Kiwami 2 where fake Kiryu punches real Kiryu? Yes, on, that is like, exactly, right on yeah, that's exactly that's what... what I imagine. Like, just open palm tries to bitch slap her, and she's just like, that's funny. You're funny. And just smashes a beer glass into their face, and it is just kicking them while they're down. And it's such a shock seeing it for the first time. Because here's the funny thing of how I imagine this with, like, my OC seeing it for the first time. He's, like, in shock. He's in pure shock. Because he's, like, he's, he's, he finally came back from being a SEAL. He's, like, what the fuck? And so he what goes to, like. What happened in the three years I was gone? Yeah, exactly. So he goes to um, consort with you know, the rest of Sess, or at least, like, Junpei Yakari and, um, Hamako, which in, in my, uh, AU, Hamako is his cousin, um, which is also a asset, a facet I'm borrowing from, uh, uh, that one fan fiction. Not quite, they're not family in that one, but she is a character. And he's like, okay, explain. And Junpei doesn't, Junpei's not really sure what's going on, but Yukari and Hamaka are like, ah, yeah, so every now and again, we would take her out, just, you know, cheer her up, you know, be there for her, and we found out that, uh, she's a main drunk. How did you find out? And you just see, like, flashbacks of her just, like, fucking losing her fucking, like, fucking taking out all of her frustration on, like, fucking, like, drunk salaryman or, like, whatever, trying to get a little too, too handsy for her or not getting the hint. And it's even scarier because she is, like, smiling the entire time. But the funny thing is, she's, she, she, she's basically letting out her inner sadist. And, but the funny thing is, is that she never remembers it, so she has no idea. She has zero idea that she's a mean drunk. And, <laughs> and nobody could ever tell her she was drunk. And nobody could ever tell her she was drunk. <laughs> so Don't taunt me. But then the really funny thing is, is that once he, like, drags her away and, like, gets to calm down... She gets all, like, super, like, fucking docile and cuddly and, like, loses all of her fight. And he's like, I can never leave her alone with alcohol. This is a constant, this is a constant, constant watchdog thing. <laughs> like the game. Like Anyways. The- but yeah, that was my funny idea. I like that. Oh, uh, this was my, remember, so remember when I told you I was changing my strategy for naming my SMT Pro Tags after yes. Yakuza Pro Tag? Uh, I was going to name the Demi theme Kiryu, obviously, you know, because the punchy right. boy. Punchy boy. And uh, I told Laser that every time the Demi theme would attack, I would try my best to imitate every single one of Kiryu's battle cries. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Mmm, da! <laughs> You know, the sounds that they've been using since Jakas is three. Uh-huh. Yeah! Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah! How'd I say? Wait, what? Is this a gun? Oh! No, I know there's a few Oreo. Sasatakoi. Ah. You know what?
what I'm always surprised by? There was a point where I thought Kiryu and Jotaro had the same VA. They don't, but like first here, you could I wouldn't blame you for believing that um Taitakura and Daisuke Uno had like were the same person. Mm-hmm. They it, 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 you really listen to him, but like Kiryu would be a good Jotaro. Kiryu would be a good Jotaro. No, not not Kiryu. <laughs> Daisuke uh Taru how the f- I don't know how to pronounce his Japanese names. You know who would have been a good dub Kiryu voice if they didn't want to spend money on it? Who, who's that? Patrick Size. Patrick Size? I could see it. He's around the same age as Kiryu, too. Taka Kurido. Okay. If it wasn't for the fact that Matt Mercer was already playing Majima, I would say Matt Mercer too. That's another option. Speaking of Majima, I, I, the reason I was bringing up Haru earlier is I'm really surprised that they gave the Majima outfit to Anne and not to Haru. You, yeah, I, I'm, I gotta agree with you there. I'm more surprised they gave Makoto Saijima of all people. That's what I was thinking. You would think they would have given her, like, Date. Tachiba. I was or, gonna say Tommy Mora. Or Tommy Mora. Dude, Tommy Mora would be really good. Like, I, I understand, like, and I understand, like, they gave Ryuji Ryuji's outfit because, you know, Ryuji, they both share the same name. They're both blondes. I can I can yeah. understand that, but I think he would have been a good Saijima too. I would have said he would have been a better fit for um. I would say he would have been Nishiki. Like I don't know. Ow! Nishiki? Like Yakuza zero. Yakuza zero Nishiki. Yakuza zero Nishiki. I can see that. Now I think uh, I do think that they, or, they they were they were right on the money by making Yusuke uh, Akiyama. I mm, well, uh, I'm mixed maybe, on that. Maybe he's a little too out there for for Akiyama. Akiyama has a dry wit, and Yusuke, Yusuke is, is very much kind of oblivious in some cases. Who would you have preferred? For Yusuke? Yeah. Man, I don't know. I I could tell you who, uh, like, uh, if I had to go down the list of people I would choose for the other one, ha- uh, F- Futaba's I think is fine, as is, you know? I think Futaba's makes, makes, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, uh, the Sonata for um, Joker. They do what they do have in jo- the, being a protagonist of the fifth game in a series, right? Also being blamed for something they didn't do, you know, mm-hmm. and their lives getting fucked up because of it. And they 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 share uh, they share the same hairstyle too. Yeah, they share a similar hairstyle. They both um, are pretty good with knives. <laughs> Um, for on honestly, uh, I would have given her Hanukkah. If, uh, it, it's a flimsy connection, but, like, on's a motto, Hanukkah's an idol, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, for Haru, yes, yeah, Saijima would have worked for her. I already said Tommy Mora for, um, Makoto, but I also would have said, uh, what's Mok- who you would call it? Um, Yagami from Lost Judgment, from Judgment, the ju- or Judge Eyes, whatever. Oh, what? yeah, Yagami would have been really good. Would have been a good choice. Yeah. For Ryuji, I get why they did Ryuji, but I already said yes, Yakuza Zero, Mitsuki, or, um, Kaito from Judgment as well. Uh, 
Did I say who you scared could have been? I can't remember. I can't recall if you did or not. Honestly, Ichiban would have worked better for Yusuke. I can see it. Yeah. And what was Morgana's? Because I don't remember. I think there... I don't think there... Wait! There was one from Morgana, but I'm not sure who it was. Hold on, let me go back and look at it. Yeah, go look at it real quick. I have no idea who the hell Morgana is supposed to be. Yeah, no, I have no idea who he's supposed to be in this. Seriously, I can't state how much of a good VA Yong is, but he's just such a miscast. His yeah. battle cries are actually pretty good. Like when he screams, it sounds legitimately visceral. The one thing I, uh, another thing I really hated about it though, like that people were like criticizing him for, which is something completely out of his control, by the way, is I really hated it how they were like, oh, a uh, fucking RMM needed the fucking uh, influencer money, like. It's a multi-million dollar fucking gaming company. Do what do you mean they need the money? What do you mean what? they need influencer money? You Young isn't even Young isn't even like that like well known of an influencer outside of gaming. Yeah. I'm seeing that too and thinking, you really think Sega and our RGG Studios need Young's influencer money? They got Danny Trejo and George Decay in two of their games! Like... Like, like they're acting like fucking Yong Yi like has like Mr. Beast money or something like that. And it's like, no! Fucking dipshits. He, listen, no matter what you have to say, he auditioned and he earned the role. Yeah, Whether or not it's a mis he's a miscast, but he did audition and got the role fair and square. Exactly. Don't don't admit don't just miss his hard work. And you know, like and like it's been proven like time and time again that he's a good voice actor. Like, he wouldn't have like work in in the the business if he you know wasn't getting picked up to do these roles so yeah i, 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 I always i always again, thought that was such a dumb critique again he's not back. his voice actor for you not bad well, it's okay. just the tone of his voice that's it i I'm, I'm playing the dub right now for gaiden huh? i can i can play through the game with this Oh wow, a guy with a gun. I have never seen these custom constant Yakuza again. You don't even have a shotgun like um Richard um Anderson had. Just a pistol. Oh Richard uh Andre Richards. Yeah. That was a really good boss fight in three. I actually really like that a lot. Dude, they changed this VA for infinite wealth. Huh. Japanese and dub. They gave him a Japanese VA? Huh? They, sh they gave him a Japanese VA? Yeah! They should have just kept, apparently... just, just, just kept it in English like in 3! And that was hilarious! Which is weird, because apparently the guy did come back to voice him in the online game. <laughs> At least in the dub, he still says rough. <laughs> Yes, I. Hey. Bull mid, bull, bull mid charge. Hey, you know it's funny that you bring that up. 
What's up? Oh, this uh, this uh, ramen owner was talking about how Nakajima was uh, talking about how like uh, how uh, hard looking Kilia was, and he goes, "But man, he wasn't kidding. You look like you could uh, stare down a uh, bull mid charge." And I said, "You know, it's funny that you bring that up." Did I ever tell you how I beat up like five bulls at once? <laughs> You can put what in your car? You can what? put whatever you want in your car. Nothing, just somebody in chat. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Very soft, soft, regular, hard, very hard, and dunked. He was on the first side. Dunk is just dunking the noodles to remove the flower. I, I oh, I got another character he probably would have fit. If it wasn't for Greg Chung already voicing Yagami, right? Young could have fit uh, Yagami as well. Hey. It is insane <laughs> how many other characters I'm thinking of right now. They're just popping up. Ugh. So how'd that gun help you out, buddy boy? I'm not even running through the building. I like to believe that Kiryu stops running through buildings at some point because he's gotten so strong, so he just walks. You know, during the long fights, you know what I mean? Now, I'm a ramen manager. Best way to earn money. Is it really? Eh, it's not my check, yeah. But yeah, I'm just walking through the building now. I just like the idea that at some point Kiryu just gets tired of running through the buildings for a long fight, so he just decides to walk. Can soft message cut? Serve the ramen by pressing the indicator button. This is the gauge. Who would you give in a fight? Snake or Kiryu? I'd have to probably give it to Snake. That's also because Snake is a like actual trained combatant. I mean, let's not act like Kiryu isn't either. Mm, a little different compared to Kiryu. Plus, Snake does have more experience, to be fair. Not by much, but like he's been in more uh, experience. Well, again, Snake is also a trained soldier as well, and he is not afraid of killing. I know Kiryu, I know Kiryu usually has the ability to kill, but he usually avoids it. He prefers not to, but I he, he is totally willing to do it. If pushed far enough. It's just that a lot of the villains don't reach that level of scumminess that makes them want to. Except in six, he was he was gonna kill the main villain in six, and for reasons I believe you will completely understand. I've never seen Kiryu hate a villain more than a one in six. Yeah, I've heard the one in six is like an absolute piece of shit. Honestly, I'm I, if that if I'm glad they didn't make six they didn't stick to making six Kiryu's last game because that last boss fight was pathetic. Oh yeah, it's fun. I am cooking that food, Chris. Oh, fuck. I paying attention, bro. I'm not gonna lie, man. I love the Dragon Engine moveset, but like, I wish he kept the moveset that he had in 5 for the rest of the series. You know what I mean? Hey, 
I should make a threat about it though. Like QU versus like maybe who would you put? Chris or Leon versus Snake. God, this boss seems bothers. よ。うまそう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう
And I'll look up who the VA is. Damn it. Damn, if only food service was like this in real life, huh? No. Okay. This game's a prequel to Like a Dragon. Oh, so Tion, apparently. So this Tatsuo guy, right? So apparently he's an actual celebrity in, in IRL in Japan. And he's like a big, like, big name chef, right? I was looking mm -hmm. this up, but apparently when he was, uh, when, when the Japanese, like, community learned about his existence they started uh learned that he was going to be in the game they started memeing on him because apparently this dude is like super notorious um and like the actual like community because he was one he was apparently charging like eight dollars for people to get water at his restaurant eight dollars eight dollar eight hundred yen eight dollars and his Excuse was that it was good water, and hang on, let me let me look up the other thing they said about him. This is actually really fucking funny. Yeah, here it is. Subject Tatsuwa Kawagoe is a subject to some banter from the Japanese and the family, given that his depiction borders on character shilling, if not outright walking advertisements, who appears in every chapter as not being particularly interesting. Not helping the matters is that the real world Tatsuwa was under hot water shortly after the game release for unrelated reasons. Secretly charging patrons of his restaurant 800 yen for water, then defending himself against criticism by saying it's good water and that his restaurants aren't meant for poor people anyway. <laughs> this man unironically said, you're too fucking poor for my restaurants. You can't even afford 
afford my eight dollar water. Wow. What an absolute piece of shit. <laughs> and this portrayal is actually a bit nice. A little too nice, if you ask me. A little too nice. But yeah, eight eight dollars for fucking water. That's I bet like it's tap water that's too. That's like cartoonishly evil. That's tap water too. <laughs> That's like, that's like something a snooty chef from like a cartoon would do. Hey, hey, fiction of, um, often imitates real life. <laughs> I'm gonna be saying that throughout the play for you now. I don't want you to do this, I don't want to do this size, um, sub store anymore. Why? He's a piece of shit. I hate him. Let him starve. It's good water. It's good water, though, Tion. Cure you. Yeah. You know what Cure you sec no biggest way. second no. uh, biggest flaw is? What's that? Self-sacrificing tendencies. I can't yeah. think of one particular time that it has actually worked out for him or the people he was trying to help. I love these intros for um, characters in the uh, five though. I wish they kept them in six. And in zero, they actually scaled them down, and they're a bit boring in zero. That's why I say five is the better game than zero. As much as I love zero, but like I feel like it's unfortunately a downgrade from uh, five. In Kiwami, I, I noticed a lot of stuff, like, just looking at stuff, like facial expression in Kiwami compared to a PS2 game. The PS2 game has better facial expressions. The, the problem with Kiwami is that Kiwami, the original one at least, is kind of a lazy port of Yakuza 0. Like, they basically took the Yakuza 0 engine and then just kind of... Um, and like animations and stuff, and then just kind of lazily, lazily animated over it, and that's why everything looks so, like, uncanny valley. Yeah, Kiryu just has the same scowl and face throughout the entire fucking game. Which is why when I get to Kiwami for my own streams, I'm probably gonna mod in the PS2 expressions and stuff. There is a mod for that. For what? A mod to uh, add the PS2 expressions, like make the game better animated for Kiwami. Uh, for Kiwami. Interesting, interesting, really interesting. There's also a mod that had the original PS2, um, dub, not the dub, dub, but like the original PS2 voice acting Japanese wise uh -huh. for Kiwami. Not that I think Kiwami's voice acting is bad, but... Ah, Kiryu's Niski scream in the PS2 version is, like, haunting. I think it's mostly because... Uh, that was... Kura's first, like, big role. Mm -hmm. So he had to give it, like, his all. I mean, he, not that he doesn't in every other game he's in. Start doing the taxi missions now. Unfortunately, there's a feature they added into 
Gaiden that I like that I haven't got to yet, but you can customize how Kiryu looks in this game. I don't think they bring back that feature for infinite wealth to my utter bafflement. I think every Yakuza game should have something like that going forward. It's about to go down! The taxi minigame is surprisingly fun considering you're just being a fucking taxi driver. I hate how realistic it is though, you know what I mean? Because there will be people who will just run out and they see a car for no reason. Yeah, that's... It's annoying, but people really do do that instead of just waiting for the car to pass. Holy fucking shit. What's up? All these people just fucking rushed out at once. Dude, I know. I'm not. <gasps> fucking circuit racing! It brought it back. It took care of you like... God, how many years in the universe has it been? I don't blame you. The regular taxi missions are annoying. Luckily, they're only for, um... This is the... You don't get any mood or anything like that from doing it. I don't remember if you... I don't remember what you get for getting a high score, though. Well... Okay, hold up. Really, the only reason I want to do this is for fucking money and for taxi points so that you can upgrade your taxi for the racing. I never finished the racing story. I might go back and try to do it. Yes, keep crossing, keep crossing, keep crossing. Thank you. There's only 30, 31 of those missions, and only 9 of them where you have to actually drive passengers around. <laughs> it would take 156 hours to 100% all of Yakuza 5. You're not, listen, Ran, no offense, but you're not pocket, pocket circus or races. Well, he's not pocket. Actually, pocket searcher, pocket fighter, circus racer, announcer, dude. That's not his name anymore. It's now dragon fighter racer. And unlike Kiryu, he hates terribly. <laughs> We're not play the game, the damn game. That was the calmest rage that I've ever seen, Joey. <laughs> Jesus Thank fucking you, Chris. Christ. <laughs> I'm so fucking angry right now. God. I'm gonna go punch a baby. Jesus.
He said calmly. Hey. <laughs> Gotta go tiger drop a, a fucking baby now, jeez. Zero. Why do they want me to talk to them all the time? Who talks this much in a taxi? Am I crazy? Mm, depends on the driver. I I guess. in here. Maybe after all that shit from last night, he doesn't want to play. Now he's doing something. Oh great, thanks Lucas. Thanks for the Bambi horror movie of all things. Really? He posted a trailer for a Bambi horror movie of all things. Really? Is Bambi even in the public domain? Done. Yeah. Yeah, Jilly, alien blood, just like all of us. We're gonna have to kill... So, like, if I cut Chris, he's gonna bleed red, right? Uh, probably. 
You said probably so. There's a chance that he couldn't. So Chris, I'm gonna need you to show us your blood. You know, to make sure you're human. Wait, where am I going? No, I bleed burger sauce just like other human, not like skateboards. <laughs> Chris, skateboarding's for for hipsters, like Tony Hawk. Persona 5 Royal. Meh. Hey, Joey, I'm going to head off yeah. a bit. I'll be right back.
I love how Bakimatai came on at the perfect time. Perfect timing. Yeah. He was honest.
Sticking out. <laughs> Notice it.
あのはい Keep it for that nice. Minute. Hey.
Yo. What's up, man? You still doing taxi stuff? Yep, sure am. Yeah. When's the last time you punched somebody? <laughs> uh, I'm punching somebody right now. Oh. Do it harder. Who's in chat? Chris being a weirdo? Alright, what's new? I'm actually kind of sad we go back to the regular suit after after this section. Because the taxi driver drip, man, it's immaculate. Yeah, the taxi driver outfit's pretty nice. Hey. Out of the P3 group, who else do you think can sing? Ooh. Man. I think Shinjiro can sing. He just doesn't want to uh, admit it. I think Junpei is another... Oh, dude, 100%. Uh, Junpei is yeah. one of those one of those guys, like, he'll start singing, and it's like, damn, Junpei can fucking sing. Yeah. I like to imagine like he's like a professional opera singer and nobody knows. <laughs> like so good that Yukari starts crying from how good it is. I don't know about that, but he's uh according to a professional dancer that was doing a tier list of uh, all the all of them dancing from their dance games, apparently he's a really good dancer. I'm not shocked. He's focusing on the wrong things in life. I honestly think the protagonists, like both versions of them, they'd be okay at singing, like middle of the road. Yeah, they don't strike me as being... Musically inclined, yeah. Yeah, even though music is a big part of their life. Yeah. Akihiko can't sing. <laughs> We're talking like uh, the moment he even uh, inhales a breath, <laughs> windows start to crack. <laughs> Mitsuru can't sing either, but it's not as bad as Akihiko. It just sounds like she's talking when she <laughs> sings. But she is apparently, she's actually a really good dancer too. Yes. Uh, I guess sounds like an AI singer. So, does it really count? Dude, there was this, uh, uh, Persona 3, uh, shit, uh AI shit post, and, um, nearly, <laughs> I just start, suddenly started singing ball, and it was funny as fuck. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> speaking of the AI stuff, do you know there was a recent meme where, <laughs> Yusuke was like, AI art cannot count as real art. They don't have souls. And then Sophia from Striker starts crying and running away from, from um, Yusuke. <laughs> because she had a portrait of him. That's kind of, it's funny, but it's also kind of sad. That's fucking hilarious. Poor Sophia. It's about to 
get down. Seriously, the main battle theme for the dragon style in this game is, oh my god, it's so good. I'm trying to do all the talking missions first. I'm trying to put off doing the actual taxi missions as long as I can, because they kind of fucking suck. You, only, you don't have to do all of them, I believe. I'm just trying to get enough points so I can do the so I can do the uh, fucking uh, oh races. Ken 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 can't sing, but they appreciate the effort that he puts into it. He tries. He tries. He tries. He tries. As much as a little kid can. Uh, I think Yukari is probably a uh, pretty decent singer. Yes, he's 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 a decent singer. Uh, Korochan. Can sit. He's a good howler. <laughs> <laughs> now for the four cat for the um the cast of four, uh you can sing because Johnny on boss can sing. <laughs> Obviously. You can sing. Rize, well Rize is Rize. That's just self explanatory. Yeah. yeah. Self explanatory. Uh, Yukiko can Yoke. not sing. Yukiko could no. not sing to save her life. I honestly would put Chie under the same list of you're actually shocked that she can sing so well. Agreed. Agreed. Yosuke also can't sing. No, he can't. Kanji, Kanji is a su surprisingly decent singer. I would see him being like a god tier opera singer, just randomly. <laughs> uh, Teddy? No. Teddy, like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. If we want to be nice to him, he'd be, he'd be okay. And Naoto? Yes, absolutely. Naoto strikes me as a type to say that she doesn't sing when she's alone. Yeah, that's actually something I, I like to imagine. I think Naoto is a lot more musically inclined than people think. Because she mentions taking piano lessons uh, when she was younger. Yeah, I imagine that she, there may be a chance that she is a professional. Um, she might have some um, background in opera as well. You keep bringing up opera. You don't have to be like an opera singer to be a good singer. Yeah, I know. This is back in my mind. Okay. Persona 5 cast. Joker can sing. I've heard Xander Mobis sing. He's got a damn good voice. Same with um, Akechi. He can sing. I bet you didn't watch that um, video I sent you of you talking about his disc washer while Zao was singing. No, I don't think I've seen Did it you? yet. You need to watch it, not just for like how <laughs> serious Young makes care you sound while talking about the disc washer, but because Robbie Damon's singing is amazing. He's better than the Japanese version, like straight up. It's a better version. But uh, uh, Akechi can sing. Uh, Maharu can sing as well. I believe that she can. Do I 100% believe Haru can sing? Listen, yes. she can already you... dance professional ballerina. I 100% I believe she can sing. Yeah. Yusuke can sing. Mostly because, again, this is correlating to the voice actor. Matt Mercer can sing now. He can sing. For sure. Uh... Uh, Yuji. Ryuji, I'm going to mark as, eh. He's a decent singer, but he's he'd not be better. He's a he'd be a better rapper than a right. singer. Right. Uh, I'm just gonna put it out right now. Makoto cannot hold a tune right at no. all. No. Cannot sing. No. No. Futaba is another one of those. <laughs> he actually sings so quietly you can't tell if he's singing. Mm-hmm. On, I would put up there as being a okay singer. And Morgana, he's a cat. Keep him he away. Just goes, from meow, the meow, just meow, keep, meow. just keep him, just keep him away from the mic. He can't sing. Keep him away from the mic. He can't sing. He wants to learn how to sing though. No, nah, not even for on. <laughs> not even for on. He just wants to be able to sing. On, on could definitely sing though. I think that's just kind of part of part of her. We already said that. Uh, it was like the same thing for Sophia counts for um 
Like the same thing we said for Igus counts for Sophia as well. <laughs> Her singing technically doesn't count because it sounds like an AI singing it. Is there anyone we forgot? I feel like we're forgetting someone. Uh, let me think about it. We covered, we covered Joker and Ryuji, Yusuke, Morgana, Haru, Makoto, Futaba, Sophia. No, that's a for for the Persona 5. Yeah, no, we covered everybody. Wait, 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 no, no. We forgot about Violet, the red-haired girl from Royal. She technically counts. Oh, uh, Sumire? Sum Sum Sumire, I think that's what her name's called. Yeah, I, I, don't know, I don't know enough about her to... I don't either. I hate I can't disagree with it because it sounds fucking hilarious. Yep. I'm pretty sure her actual VA can sing. But Makoto herself, I can't see Honig at all. I think that that's like the fun I think that would be like the funniest funniest thing, just because it's like you would think someone like her could could sing, but no. It's just a terrible singer. She has fun with it. She has fun with it, and they all like. I wanna... They all like are in agreement. Like she is a terrible singer, but it it, it it she's she's got chips got. She she brings the spirit. That's all that matters. I want to. <laughs> I like to imagine that Ryuji asks his Makoto to sing "Pure Love" and Kamurocho with her, with him, right? Thinking that oh, it'll just be a sweet little love song between each other, and it's like. And like as soon as he belts her line, dude. As soon as that happens, I would just imagine like Ryuji like cringes, but he's like, "Nope, I'm gonna power through it. We're gonna power through it. I'm gonna power through it." <sighs> well, while well, like on every like the rest of them are like trying their best to like either like. Not oh, laugh wait. or. <laughs> oh wait, Lucas! No, 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 no. Sai can sing. Yeah, Sai can sing. Again, this is another, this is another VA thing. But Elizabeth Maswell, she can sing. Hey. She's just, just not thing. going to unless she's forced. Just another, uh, <laughs> another example of why Sai's a better sister. <laughs> Leave the Kodo alone. We bully her enough. Actually, to be fair, Sai's kind of Sai is honestly a fucking shitty sister. I mean, yeah. I like Sai, but like they didn't really. Listen, like this you issue. really, you really did not have to call your like teenage sister useless and a leech. Dude, exactly, especially over like a minor disagreement. Then there's the whole fucking thing with her trying to like. Like say like oh Sojiro is like trying to put like abuse charges on Sojiro and all this shit and it's like bitch what is wrong with you what's up man welcome to the chat yeah she's got some problems yeah bro she 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 a hundred I blame. I blame I blame the dead daddy issues. Maybe her daddy wouldn't. <laughs> Maybe if her daddy wasn't dead, she'd be a better person. I don't know. Oh my fucking god. What? I can yeah. make these jokes. I don't know my dad. Except, you know, I don't know if he went to get milk in the after like like uh, uh Sai Makoto's dad did. <laughs> <laughs> milk and cigarettes in the afterlife. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Don't worry, kids. I'll be in heaven or hell getting no key cigarettes. And the other thing is that, like, they could have, like, made it where it was, like, her shadow was, like, food of a shadow. And the only reason she's acting like that is because, you know, she just has a lot of pressure and it's coming out negatively and her shadow reflects that. But no, nah, no, her shadow is just as much as a con as she is. Like, oh. Okay. She gets better at the very least. She That's gets more than better, I can say for, but it's yeah, like... Yeah, on her own at the very least. That's more than I can say for most of the other adults in this game. That's true, that's true. But at the same time, it's like, man... 
the, the useless comment alone is bad, but then just everything else on top of it, it's like... Game, why are you pausing so much? I don't blame Lucas for not liking Sai after that useless comment. It was unnecessarily it harsh. It was extremely unnecessary. It's I still about like. To go. Okay, who did uh -huh. Like. Koto has her problems, yes, and people overhype the fuck out of her, but god, at least she tries to make up for mistakes, and that's true. Yes, Makoto is very much overhyped, like, that's like the one reason why I think I really dislike her the most, is that she is way too overhyped. Like, she's just, how to put this, it's not that she's not an uninteresting character, but she's just kind of boring. People hype her up like she's Naoto. Yeah, exactly. Like, they hype her up like she's, like, this god-tier fucking, you know, waifu-esque character, and it's like, they I'm sorry, They try to act like Makoto's, like, Mitsuru, but she's right. not. She's not. And there's nothing wrong with that. In there. She's a dork. And I like that about her. Yeah. She's a bit of a dork. Uh-huh. And I think that gives her a lot of character, and I think too many people don't, uh, I feel like they don't appreciate that aspect of her character. They don't. They don't. Uh-huh. Sayonara. And I also think that's why she works so well with Ryuji, because Ryuji's also a good Yeah, but he kind of owns it too, baby. But he owns it. Ryuji is cringe, but he's free. Come on. Uh, by the way, I know who Ryuji's favorite Final Fantasy VII character would be. Who's that? It's Red 13. Mm -hmm. Wanna know why it's Red 13? Why is that? <laughs> they have the same uh -huh. WA in the remake. Really? Yeah, I know. It's insane. I didn't even realize it myself. You wanna know who his favorite Fire Emblem character is? Is it Owen? No. Who is it? Because that's at the same VA. It's Leo. <laughs> the brother Leo. from Conquest. Oh. The, the younger brother from Conquest. That's the same VA, too. <laughs> Wanna know who else he voices? Who else is he voices? Saitama. Saitama? From One Punch Man? Yeah. Really? I know. Dude's got range. No, but yeah, like, Makoto, like, I, I really don't understand, like, don't get me wrong. I do not dislike Makoto. I think she has a nice design. I think she has a nice design. I like both her, like, civilian design and her, you know, Phoenix. Her personas. Her, her persona's cool. awesome. I think she's the only uh, one other than Futaba that can actually ride their persona. Yeah, like, persona's cool. You know, she has, she's got good interaction with the thieves. I, I like her. I just, it's like, in comparison to... She has a the, very boring social link, though. She has a very vo boring fucking social link, and compared to, like, compared to, like, you know, Haru and Futabus, for example, both of which have, like, Why very do you keep deep... saying Fuba, Futaba? Fut, fut, is it Futaba? Futaba. No, it's Futaba. 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 Sorry, I, I, Futaba. Futaba. I think the, I always, for whatever reason, I think the A is pronounced as a ta instead of a ta. Futaba. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I try not to say anything, not to no, be rude, that's but fine. like. I, I wasn't, I wasn't sure how to actually pronounce her name, so I always just defaulted to Futaba. Futaba. So yeah, like, like, like the social link with like Futaba and Haru, like, it's very deep. Because you definitely feel like you're connecting with with them on, like, a very deep level. With Futaba, you're pulling her out of her shell. And with Haru, you're, like, Plus, getting her through a really hard part of her life. And... Plus, and to be fair, like, it helps that Futaba's um, confession, like, if you say you like, want to date her, like, <laughs> her brain restarts. That's really cute. That's really cute. And then, like... And it Haru... doesn't help. 
If like if you reject Haru, she actually cries, which yeah, shows that her feelings are one hundred percent like, genuine. Haru like legitimately has a crush on, on on Joker. Bro, like, bro, rank three, you can see it. Rank three, you can see it, and like she said, like she calls you handsome, like pays you compliments, dude. Like she is a hundred percent like in love with you. Like you can you can feel it, and the only other person. Who like you get that vibe from is Futaba, Fu- Futaba, and then like with like like with Anne, like I don't know, like Anne feels more like uh, Anne feels more like a like like a sister, but like not a sister, but like she feels like a bro. Does that make sense? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's always that's why I never really shipped on and Anne and um Ryuji. They felt like siblings. Exactly. Like Ryuji and On feel like like bros to Joker, if that makes like like sense. Yeah, they're the first real friend. Though I will admit, I do have a bit. I did like On a bit because he was the first smile I ever saw in the fucking game. On like, and don't get me wrong, I like On. I don't dislike the shit between her and 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 Joker by any means. I think On is great. I think she's cute. I just think like, as far as the thieves go. I just think Haru and Futaba are more interesting and have better chemistry with Joker as far as romance goes than Makoto or um uh, on yeah or on Ew. And I don't really know how I feel about like I don't know I like the adult ships but there's the only other person I would ship Joker with is Hifumi. Uh, I don't actually know enough about her to really give an opinion on that. I know a lot of people like shipping him with Hifumi. She seems interesting. I don't know. Like, I don't get me wrong. I like the adult confidence. Like, I like Kawakami Sensei a lot. I like the fortune teller gal. I like the doctor. Oya's whatever. Like, she's she's whatever. Um. But I don't know. It's like... The relationship that wouldn't last. The relationships that wouldn't last, and would you really think about it, like... <laughs> we really did like just bust... Com- do you really we, like we, we them? We did just bust Kamasita for doing the same thing. Exactly. Like, it's kind of hypocritical. I do think the relationship between Kawakami and Joker is sweet. I like Kawakami a lot as a person, just, I don't know. I just don't, from a realistic standard, oh. I just don't think those chips are going to last. Oh, BT Dubs. Uh, I just recently learned that Kawakami VA is the same as Yukari's. OG Yukari's. And I can't believe I've never noticed that. Michelle Ruff? Yeah, it's Michelle Ruff. Interesting. Same with, uh, what was the Roberto girl's name? Oy- Oye? That's Yukiko. <laughs> really? That's funny. They do kind of look similar now if uh, if you, if you look at them. Um um I'll tell you a ship I actually do like and that's because of Scruffy Turtles. I'm sure you, you. I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm talking about. I actually really like shipping Sojiro with Kawakami Sensei. Oh yeah, I remember that. I've been trying to find a way to read their adult AU in order, but I can't figure it out. All right, finally, I can customize Kiryu. I don't think they've. Uh, I don't think he's really touched his adult AU in quite some time. I'm sure he That's wants to work on it, but I think he just has like other other priorities, unfortunately. Um. But yeah, I think the the ship has a lot of chemistry to it, and I've actually read a couple uh, fix that I think Scruffy Turtle actually recommended um, yeah. between them. Oh, while we're on the subject of Persona, I was trying to think long and hard about what I was going to name my Persona 4 character when I, whenever I go back to that game at some point. Mm-hmm. And I just realized, why not just call him Daiko Dojima? You know... Because I, I I always prefer to name my char- give my character the same last name as the Dojimas. 
And, you know, there's already a character in Yakuza with the name Dojima, so I was thinking, hey, just Fair go enough. with that. I like how in the taxi during the talking missions you can hear all the stuff play like Baki Matai. I think you can get some Sonic songs too. That's awesome. Hey. You can also hear um the karaoke you know, before you actually click on the karaoke song versions of the actual songs. Which some of them I like more. Like I love Kiryu's version of pure love, um and of uh, not that, of Kamarocho Lullaby, but I'm not gonna lie, the karaoke version that you hit before Here You Sings It, I prefer more. Hey. You know, your comment earlier today about how Persona doesn't have karaoke, I am really surprised by that. I wonder if they'll make that a feature in, um... <laughs> you can give Kiryu the... his voice actor's hat that he's always wearing. That's awesome. I, uh, but I wonder if, um, um, if they'll do they'll, it at some point. They, yeah, they they'll should. put that in Persona Six. I feel like I feel like that's inevitable, especially with like all the VAs they usually get that are talented at singing. I feel like that's just inevitable. What do you think that the the next Persona Five game would be about? Persona Six game. Yeah. Well, Persona Six. Yeah. From what I've what I've heard, like the only thing I know is that it's going to be another high school setting, but uh, uh, it's to be expected, I guess. It's to be expected. I know a lot of people were disappointed in that, but um, um, fuck. I I think that's just like Atlas. Like, listen, man, it sells. People like the setting. I. Plus, it's for it's uh, the, the, you got to remember these games were made for Japanese people first and us last. Exactly, and you know they the Japanese fan base they fucking like that. They like that setting. I would prefer a college setting. A college setting would be um, a college setting would be a lot would be a lot would be interesting, and I do think there would be a lot more doors open. Than limiting it to a high school setting, but I mean, I think it's just, I think it really just boils down to like, that's what they like. It's what they like, and we just kind of got to deal with it. <laughs> I make sure you kind of look like this VA. <laughs> But yeah, that's how it goes, man. I don't mind it. No, I'm fine with it, honestly. It's really no big deal. I, w I have been kind of brainstorming like a possible Persona 6 um, with a older Nanako, though. Don't really have she like... Was, she was originally going to be in Persona 5, if you remember. Yeah, I heard that. I've seen the, uh, the concept art. That would have been a really yeah. good cameo. I'm really surprised they didn't uh, do anything with that. Yeah, but you know, there would be some people who didn't want to see it loots of her. Because you know that was going to happen. Yeah, that's just fucking inevitable. But listen, listen. It would be better to see loots of her adult self than loots of her fucking six-year-old self. Because lolly fuckers can fucking die in a fucking fire. Hey. <laughs> you make me take psychic damage from that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I want the fucking puke. Hey, do you want more psychic damage? No. Too bad. There are people who uh, uh, unironically ship her with Adachi and her six-year-old self. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! We have to kill the ball. Did 
Thanks. I, I threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> I'm waiting for Lucas's reaction. I already know. I already know. I'm, I'm pretty sure he left for a bit. You know his ADHD Damn it. ass was staying there for too Fucking long. ADHD. My man needs to take some goddamn meds or something. <laughs> no, he just needs to learn how to focus better. I don't take meds anymore. I probably do. I need to take some meds. Again. If you feel like it will help you, then I would advise doing it. Probably especially if since you're about to take a lot back of, to school. Especially I'm about to say, since you're going back to school, you might you might consider it. I'm gonna text you, you, can't, anyway. you can't fucking fall behind in class. I'm gonna message him it. Now we wait. <laughs> About that a few, like uh, a few years ago, and I was like, "Bro, what the fuck is wrong with people?" <laughs> <laughs> His reaction was, it cost you zero dollars exactly to not fucking tell me that. <laughs> no, but your reaction is Your reaction priceless. was priceless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I chose. Uh, I have Kiryu looking like his, uh, kind of like his VA. I got the hat on at least, so I'm gonna keep this on for the rest of the game. I'm not taking it off. And this shows up in cutscenes, by the way. That's awesome. Lucas came in the chat. I could have gone my whole fucking life not knowing that you fuck. You're welcome, Lucas. Listen, Joey <laughs> shared it with me, and I didn't feel like suffering alone, so now you're cursed with this knowledge, too. <laughs> Suffer as I have, boy. Something I saw earlier today. I'll send you them later. Some some loots. But I saw. Uh... You can send them in the public there because uh, it's easier to get off of that than like when I'm talking to you at work in my public DMs. Like uh, yeah, when I'm at work talking to you on our DMs. What's that? I'm sorry. Can you say that? I said it's it's easier for me to click off like the server than it yeah. is for me. Like if oh, I'm talking, oh yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll um. <laughs> oh, this motherfucker! Hold on. I didn't think we'd still be doing chase battles. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're 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 the best they've been in this game. I love how fucking Kiryu picks up the bottle by picking it. 
<laughs> yeah. That's so stylish. Oh yeah, keeping a stylus, am I right? Hiya! Oh. Hiya! Yeah, if I, but if I send them into the uh, the server, I'm just gonna fucking put spoilers on them because they are like spicy. And I, I don't know how everybody feels about like fucking like super spicy. Pretty sure everyone. Like... I'm pretty sure everyone's fine with lewd, except for Dylan. He doesn't care for them. Yeah, I saw one of, uh, Nauta with pierced nipples, and it's really funny because that's something I actually had Ken and Fuka having. Let's see. This whole stream is literally just me doing taxi missions. Hey, remember when you were Kiryu Cosmo and you beat people up? Yeah, I remember that. But now I'm Tai Chi Suzuki and I do I I I I I do taxi rides. And I send money to my adopted kids who are definitely not at the Morning Glory, that place that that Yakuza guy owned. <laughs> Tell me my character for Thursdays has to be by the current rules for D&D. I just broke a grappler at level 3. Based. Based? You know, the only thing I changed in the Coliseum, because you can customize how Kiryu looks in this Coliseum in the game, mm -hmm. I still have the same outfit on. I just put on a hockey mask that makes me look like Jason. Kiryu versus Jason. I'm gonna give it a cure you. Yeah. Good to be specific. Anything that's not that nonsense that was the space stuff. Or Jason goes to hell. That shit was stupid from what I've seen. I think it, I think it just depends on what version of Jason. If it's like him before um, he becomes a supernatural unkillable beast, then yeah, probably Kili will can take him out. Also, Jason's no. There's only one actor that had Jason be like six foot tall. And I think that was Jason like, is canonically six feet tall. He's yeah, cute. But like, yeah, but Jason like most is, actors aren't a six foot tall. You know, what all I mean? of his well, all of his actors are played by dudes who are like tall as shit and like muscle bound. I was under. I, I've never actually watched like the Friday the Thirteenth movies. At least not yet. I uh, I know you brought it up that you like to watch him for uh, a movie night. I would I would not be opposed against that. I have that not and seen um, any of them watching either. Alien and watching Alien and Predator. Dude, I love to watch the Alien and Predator movies. I've 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 actually not seen um, the or ter or Terminator. I've Same only Terminator. the um only, I I've seen RoboCop one, but I haven't seen two or three. So do I earn money through doing the Coliseum? Wait, is this that Yakuza team building thing they have in Kiwami 2 and 6? Watch Prey? Yeah, I wouldn't mind checking out Prey. I, I heard it's really fucking good. I was kind of worried Wait. at first because I thought that's the newest Predator movie. The game? Oh, I thought you were talking about the game, Prey. No, 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 no. 
it's the the most recent Predator movie that's supp supposed to be really fucking good. You guys want to try watching the one of those movies um, Sunday? Sunday, sure, I'm down. You want to yeah. watch? Uh, what do you want to watch? You want to watch the original Predator, or do you want to watch the original Alien? Let's ask the other two before we make any decisions. That's fair. We'll ask. We'll ask people in the chat. In the chat. Um, the server. The new Alien comes out this year. I'm not watching it. All the recent Alien movies are garbage. Title this the description of this fulfilling John Yakis's professional drag racer career, and I haven't done any drag racing this fucking stream yet. Yeah, change that description. You're going on a leisurely drive with um young, with old ladies and young men. Buddy, I got money out the ass. Hey. Baby, my more chance. Dance the night away. One last chance. You know, I'm gonna be real. I didn't think here you had a driver's license till recently. Because <laughs> I don't remember him driving up to and up until I. Because I started with zero. I accidentally pulled out my headset. What I was saying was like I started with zero. Like a Niski was the one who owned that car. And while Kiryu drove it back to the forest, right, I thought he was doing it Ill illegally. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's the only real time we see him drive up until this game. Yeah. That's the only real time I saw him drive up until this game, but like this game came before Zero, so I guess he always had to drive. Joey, you can still have me, right? Yeah, I can still Okay, good. I, I'll just make it sure. Dude, this heat action where Q you like sits these guys down on the, the fucking metal poles, that's gotta hurt your ass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's angry at this game, man. He can't see his kids anymore. I mean, it's his own fault, but like, still. I'm pretty sure this was in 4 as well, but like, they used to grab their ass and shake their heads while screaming. <laughs> I mean, that's probably what I'd be doing. God, I can't imagine how fucking bad that was. Well, say goodbye to your. It, it, it's you're being shut down by Curious, so like say goodbye to your tailbone. Okay, Karen. <laughs> What? Yeah. Oh, there's this fucking woman. Hey. What's she saying? 
absolutely bitching about how Kiryu is late, and then he apologized, just like, oh, you're so rude. Like, bro. Doesn't matter what country you're in, there's always people like that. To avoid getting emotional here. Okay, give it a shot. I'm gonna look up a stuffed tiny bars once that girl's done. His OG voice actor was Layton. And apparently that was his only other role. Not Layton, he was um Phoenix Wright. There we go. Hey. This guy. Some dude in Marcel, the Yukio character. Interesting. What are you doing now? Joey. Huh? What are you doing um, now? Pimping out my, uh. Pimping out my ride. Pimping out your ride. Alright then.
After this, I'll probably do some lectures. Were you actually? Yes. I promise. Mm -hmm. Shit. God damn it. I, I really do not that. know what the fuck the devs were thinking adding this in. This is fucking invisible. It gotta be fun. I promise that the others, like the other characters' sub stories, aren't this bad. No, wait, they're called side stories in this game. Oh, I made it with a second. This guy was about oh, to shit yeah. his pants. There you go. Man, I avoided an entire disaster right there. Let's do some actual street races. Hey. <laughs> wow, Muramatsu, don't be a little bitch. Well, you should be beat. You're keen. <laughs> Four kings? Are you gonna fucking kidding me? Yup.
want to check it out, I pimped out my uh, taxi a little bit. Yeah. I just saw Chris Thomas about the alien. Wasn't it confirmed that aliens were born from black goo? Did Ridley Scott just, like, lose their Dude, minds? Ridley Scott just fucking lost the plot. And that's the only reason I can explain why Prometheus was so fucking retarded. Oi, oi, oi! Yeah, man. Osaki ni Nani? By the way, in uh, Yakuza 6, you have to face Takeshi's challenge, Joey. What's Takeshi's challenge? You know that John Chant video. Don't pretend like you don't. I actually don't. You've never seen the John Chant video about Takeshi's challenge? No, what is it? I'm genuinely Better curious. Just... Better to just send it to you so you can watch it after you don't look here. Basically, the actor hated video games at the time he was making this game. He decided to make one of the hardest fucking games ever. Well, just because he hated video games? Just because he hated video games. He raised the Money? Even the uh, commercial in the game tells you how it hits on how to beat it. <laughs> Thinking of yourself over arm of the team, we can't give you a personal demo. I know a mess you'll see. Who are these four kings? No, I never did figure that out. I didn't bother playing it. Yes. I didn't bother it like on my first play. I still need to do my second playthrough of this game where I go for more stuff. If you're familiar with street racing scene, that would be crazy. I just don't. I can tell you I'm not enjoying it. You're senpai sometimes. Hiramatsu, you're being a little bitch. I like it because it's, uh. One, it's fun. And two, you get, uh. You get experience from it, which is super helpful. Yeah, it makes the uh, getting your stuff easy easier.
Hey. Just gonna bang the piece. Look deep in. I can definitely tell, tell they were going for an initial D vibe with the fucking uh, street races. Mm -hmm. Taxi sub story.
到着しました。Did you beat the uh, Mason? Yeah, I've done a couple of races, but I'm doing the final. Uh, uh, final few taxi taxi missions. All yeah, right. Might as well, since I've already done the rest of them. What's up, Brian? Hello, Brian. Welcome uh, to the most riveting gameplay in the world. Yeah, it's really boring. I don't want to die. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna right, play a bit, play games, and then I gotta work it out a little while. Sounds good. <sighs> I'm gonna finish up these last two taxi missions and do a couple more street racing missions. Alright, peace out, man. You have fun. We drifting? Yeah, we will we'll be drifting soon. I just got a couple more of these taxi missions I gotta do.
It's me. What's up, Brian? Oh, not much. Well, I just did some chores, but uh, I'm here. How we do? Doing all right. I'm glad you got your chores taken care of. I'm trying to wrap up these fucking last tax missions before I do some drifting stuff. Ah, oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. I know what can you... me to do do all of these because they're boring as shit, but. Yeah, Kiryu is definitely uh, learning the hard way of the ways of the taxi man. Yes, he is. I just don't know what compelled the fucking devs to think that this is fucking the gameplay. Well, sometimes you gotta be experimented. I mean, if. I mean, if an apple didn't fall on Einstein's head, we wouldn't know about gravity. That's true. <laughs> I like how like your you is just uh, taking the, his job as a taxi man very seriously. Yeah, he looks very decked out to be a taxi driver. <laughs> yeah, you can pimp out your car for the drag races and stuff. It's like, hmm, this taxi driver has a number eight on the side of his door. <laughs> I'm sure that's none number, of my business. Number eight, like totally pimped out rap. Yeah, colorful. Just has all the the signs of a of a drag racer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's even better because on this current tax mission, I'm like ferrying a fucking detective tailing this car. Oh, <laughs> oh no, oh, officer! Man. I don't, I don't the illegally drag race. No, not me. And and not to mention, you gotta look very unconspicuous. Oh yeah, I am also certainly not a former Yakuza or anything. No, what would you get? Kiryu Kazuma? I've never heard of the guy. I'm... I'm Taichi Suzuka. And the cop is like, you know what? Not, not my business not, today. Not my problem. Not my pig, not my farm. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even matter because I'm fucking in a high speed chase with these dudes. <laughs> yeah, it's <just> like. <laughs> yeah. Because can you imagine being in a car with a cop, but he. Follows all the road rules. <laughs> all right, what's it's like it wouldn't happen. Like I'm pretty sure, like when it comes to high speed chases, like they're like once it gets going, it's like you know they put all the lessons about the streets of the road in the back of the mind. You just king punch this detective. You fucking piece of shit. I want to beat your ass just for that alone. You know, it's funny how this detective doesn't have any reinforcements. He just asked you to go after the perps he's after. Right? And he fucking forgot his badge. Uh. Mm, I'm sure that'll go well in court. And he suddenly forgot his Miranda rights too. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if they have Miranda rights in Japan. That's a good question. What? Oh my god! <laughs> this guy is pathetic. Uh. 
like how are how are you a police officer after like before this? <laughs> well, especially because his driver license got suspended. That's the whole reason why he was asking. Uh, he must be a PI. A... <laughs> he must be a PI. There's no way. Ah, the cement. Ah, oh. just grinding his face on the asphalt. Yeah, fucking heat action is fucking ruthless. Man, that one lady in the mask is sure excited. <laughs> She's really into it. Like, look at her. She's really into Ooh, uh, it. Nice sky. I like that. Ow, 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 ow. All right, now we're gonna do some more street races. Very nice. Excuse me. Twin turbos, yeah. Hmm. No, the sky blue looks good. Yeah, I think the sky blue looks good. Ooh, really the good. flames. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she seems like a very a very loving mother I would be fucking pissed off too if my dumbass son was like I'm gonna get a job and try to join a street racing gang hmm <laughs> yeah true Speed demon who zooms around corners like a boomerang burning rubber. Okay, motherfucker. What would you do if I. Are you out seeing my business? I'm gonna beat this kid's ass. Undutiful son. Ah, eat shit, kid! Getting your ass beat by a taxi driver. Yes, sir. Ma'am, I'm not sure if you had a husband before this, but I'm about to discipline your son. <laughs> He's about to call me daddy. Buddy, I can tell you're not built for this. <laughs> you ain't built for this. He ain't built for the streets. Yeah, man. I mean, look at your freaking car. You're, you're driving a station wagon. <laughs> Yeah, 
past me and I just pass you right today? back, bitch. Yeah. Get fucked, nerd. <laughs> Damn. All right, little boy. All right, here we go. Boost. Secret move. Explosive oh, acceleration. Timmy Chung, guys. He is the pose. No, Nanja. Yeah, you just got your ass beat by a taxi man. How does that make you feel, boy? It's something else, man. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, the guy's out of here. He's like, this has been a complete waste of my time. Just kidding. <laughs> exactly a problem. Sure. Didn't make it. Not like I always once you see me here before it's very big. Let's get going. You can call me Suzuki from Taxi Driver. <laughs> well, at least you got a job. Yeah. Yeah. So now you can make stop making the money around here. <laughs> I like how the mom was like, man. It was like after the son apologized, his mom was like, man, you can do better than that. Wait. Say it like you mean it. <laughs> You tell him, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I actually think I unlocked a sub story. Oh boy. <laughs> that kid did not listen. <laughs> no. And I like how in the middle of all this, that guy was still missing. Kiryu's like, <laughs> like he's just taking care of all of his other stuff, and he's like, "Hmm, I feel like I'm forgetting something important." What was that? Oh, right, that one guy. Uh, I get. I better guess. I guess I better go ahead and see what I, what he's doing. I wonder what Haruka's doing. Apparently she's doing idle stuff right now. Ah, well, at least, well, hopefully she finds a good agency. Daigo's missing. What exactly is going on here? <laughs> yes. Yep. He's and then Q's like, Q's like, who? Yeah. 
Yeah. Here I am. Here I am doing fucking street races. <laughs> I know, right? Pap Papa Dojima is rolling in his grave. Hey. He's like, you freaking idiot! Not Papa Dojima, it would be, uh, it would be Kazuma. Oh, right, Remember, Papa uh, Kazuma. Remember, adopted. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. That is true. That, that, actually, that's even worse. <laughs> Focus on doing the job, right? Because I made a promise. That's right, I promise to take down the devil killers, and what good is a man if it's a man of word if he doesn't back it up? Back it up. <laughs> this motherfucker's talking some hot shit. A beat your fucking he is. poison. Oh, that's a nice car you got. It's gonna be a shame when I fucking beat your ass in my taxi cab. <laughs> I won't be talking shit when I go into overdrive. Yeah, look at him. Chat, look at him. Look at him and laugh. Dude, I am literally beating this man's ass right now. In a taxi cab. Literally, Kiryu can do anything he puts his mind to. Yeah, literally, it's like he has the focus, determination. <laughs> Imagine the uh, people in the Yakuza, they give him like a John Wick introduction story. <laughs> He's like, Dude, honestly, we called him. I, I could see like, um, Kiryu you having a John Wick esque explanation. Um, um, like war behind him. His name is Kiryu Kazama. He was once an associate of ours. We used to call him the Dragon. The Dragon of Dojima. The Dragon of Dojima. He's like, what? Is he supposed to be like a boogeyman? Well, Kiryu himself was never exactly a boogeyman. <laughs> he was the dragon that ate the freaking boogeyman. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can see it. I like it. Bitch. I once saw him go into a... I once saw him kill 15 men with a pencil. <laughs> A fucking, a fucking pencil. <laughs> I just love how, like, in that scene, like, he just emphasized the, like, like, jab, the jab emotion, like, what he would yeah. later with the pencil. Dude, those movies are such good movies. Yeah, I've only seen, like, bits of the first one. I definitely want to see the other ones, though. <laughs> Holy guacamole! Thus <laughs> I had to come see Suzuki Racing from this. What? Expecting me to lose today? Yeah, he is, bitch. Oh, 
He's one of the four kings. The four kings? Hmm, he sounds important. Let me race him. Enjoy beating the shit out of you. Yeah, Kiryu does find himself in these <laughs> random, randomly in these situations a lot. <laughs> Crash, come! His name is Crash. Oh my god! This goofy ass character. Still got some fighting, you bitch. I hope not. Yeah, that's why I fought. Get on your fucking knees and beg, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> must say the prosecutor on the highway neck. That exciting. You should know, Crash Kajuaro is the weakest link in the Four Kings. Don't expect your next race to go so smoothly. Of course he is. The first one is always the le <laughs> okay, weakest yep. link. This is so anime. It is. Exactly, are you just a humble taxi driver? Anyway. Hey. But the man in manners. You have much to learn, my friend. <laughs> Basically, what Kiryu was saying is, do not dig deeper into my story. Nation. I will end you. <laughs> the red extended design makes it go faster. Yes, it does. Orc logic. Yes. Every part of the car hey. contributes to its speed. Even the paint. Says the fucking like final opponent. Hey. <laughs> Saw Formula One to be precise. It wasn't half bad, man. Three inch leaks just fine. Uh -huh. Speeding down the highway like it's something like people's lives. Hey. <laughs> He looks like one too. That won't prove anything, and look at us, we're tax drivers arguing whether or not. Come on, we're going back.
Honestly, what I should do is bitch slap your little ass. <laughs> now it's taxi cab, taxi cab. Who will win? Katie is winning. <laughs> of course he's winning. It's Kiryu. And now he can add to his belt that he beat a formula, a former form, Formula One racer. He really can. They like how those guys like crying about like how he decides people who like race on highways and shit, and then immediately mm -hmm. challenges Kiryu to race on a fucking highway. Yeah, talk about the hypocrisy. He's like freaking you. He's like, there you go. It is unacceptable that people stoop so low as to race in public highways. So, I so anyway, do you want to go? Do you want to go over so race on a highway? <laughs> oh, actually. Literally, what he looks like. He looks like an oh, actually kind of guy, and sounds like one too. Fucking. He does. Corners do not affect Kiri. They only propel him forward. Vroom! Vroom, vroom, motherfucker. Hmm? <laughs> 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 
sweet race, and then I'm probably gonna call it because I gotta eat dinner. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. A man needs to eat. Yeah? I like those odds. I like those odds. So, now, say they are going to get a sale. Oh, second, it's the way. Okay, so I'm going to get you. Sorry about that. Somebody tried to call me. <laughs> How rude. So far, this race is going good. Kiryud Ikazuma is in the lead.
beat this man's ass. Under the one shot, you pulled off style. Battles aren't won by Ditas. Ridiculous. It, it did the, 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 the dog shit. You see now, your fate is over. It's time you can change your try hard enough. I think it's time you change yours now. Damn. The data showed I would have won. But I <laughs> lost. Uh, uh, actually. He's gonna run. Hmm? Sausage Hmm? Sausage 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 Sorry, you're wrestling your jimmies. I can't believe they put that in here. Jimmy's successfully wrestled. Very good for you, Jimmy. Okay, I'm gonna save. <laughs> I have to call it a night because I got a fucking I'm starved. All right, chat. Thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. There'll be more Yakuza Five tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, bye bye. Night. <laughs>